How's it going everybody? It's Gadgets Boy. So um, this will conclude uh, the series of me upgrading my MacBook Pro and the last bit of what I'm doing today is I'm going to be uh, adding an extra SSD drive. So this is a Samsung 840 Series Pro Series. Uh, this is 120 gig uh, SSD drive that I got from uh, Amazon. I'll leave a link to that in the description area so do click that if you're interested in getting one of these. And what I've also got to replace the optical drive with the second SSD drive is this Caddy uh, here which is like a dummy sort of case uh, enclosure for the SSD drive so the SSD drive would slot, slot right into there and I can remove the current uh, optical drive that's in the MacBook Pro this is a 2012 version again and uh, what I'll do is just get on with this so to get started make sure you got something like this because this will give you an array of tools available for you to uh, deal with all type of size of screws that you might engage in the process so let's do this Right, so once you've taken the back plate out, and uh, as you can see straight away, you might be familiar with this from previous videos, that's the SSD drive that I replaced, and a couple of uh, uh, RAM modules there that I've replaced also. So that's your optical drive right there, and if I just move this down a little bit so you guys can see, uh, you see a couple of connectors that needs to be removed. Uh, you got the uh, another connector there, you got the optical drive connector there as well. I believe there's a camera, that's the camera one, I think that's the Bluetooth one or something like that, but... So once you've taken your optical drive out, which uh, could take uh, a little while, just be patient with uh, removing the screws and everything. Uh, what you also want to do is remove the connector there, which is right there, just gently, because we're going to need that to go in the uh, uh, caddy case that we've got. So put that to the side for a second. So here's the caddy case that the uh, external hard drive is going to go into. Uh, it already comes with some of the important screws that we need to secure the SSD. So you got one there, you got one there. And if you look on this side as well, we've got two uh, slots there to go for the other ones. So you can get your screwdriver to go inside there. You also need to remove the bracket, this little tiny bracket from the old um, seat optical drive. And stick it on the caddy as well. So this will secure it onto the actual structure of the MacBook Pro. Then the next thing is what you want to slide your uh, SSD drive right into uh, the caddy itself. So what you need to do to make sure that slides in is make sure that you've sort of uh, unscrewed the tightening uh, screws on the edge. So just uh, undo that a bit more. So we've got nice uh, flush uh, movement there. So we just slide that in. Here we go. So the SSD is in there and what you need to do is then tighten up the screws on the edges there. So you make sure they're fully tight and secure in position. So once that's fully secure in there, you then want to get your uh, connector cable from earlier. That little tiny thing, you want to just position it in there and get that uh, hooked up. So just uh, do that now. So that just slides it in there nice and smoothly, nice and flush. And then we just put everything back together.
Okay, so once you've connected everything back together, there's no movement, everything's securely uh, connected back together, then you can carry on, uh, you can go ahead and uh, get the back plate back on. What I was going to point out as well, this is your warranty sticker uh, right there, just get that onto the camera a bit more. So when you're putting this in, make sure you try not to peel that off at all, uh, just be careful with that, so that keeps your warranty in place in case you ever need to take it back into Apple for Apple care purposes and that kind of stuff. Okay, installation complete and uh, if all goes well, you should be able to see your actual uh, regular hard drive in there with your uh, operating system on there as well as the 120 gigabyte of uh, SSD that I've just put into uh, into my system so uh, this is unformatted at a minute so you'd need to uh, sort of format it so just leave it as it is there I can call this uh, other storage so that stays there that way and just uh, click erase so make sure we're we selecting the right one there and just hit erase and that should be there uh, formatted now in a uh, very readable format that Mac OS uh, OS X uh, understand so there we go guys if there's any question you'd like uh, or need help with this sort of stuff uh, make sure you hit me up on Twitter or Gadgets Boy or just leave a comment below in the description area uh, and I'll be able to see uh, your questions there and answer you or answer your question or give you any tips and help help with anything so that's that device there storage there so I can store anything I need to store on there which also means now when I start up my uh, MacBook Pro I won't get the optical drive making that sort of startup noise when I start my uh, laptop up. So that's it, guys. If you, uh, like I said, if you need any help, just leave a comment below. And if there's anything else I can help with, do let me know. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching this series. I'll see you all next one.